Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to today's Captain's Blog. Today, we're going to go through how to change a headlight on a Kia Sorento. And the reason for this is because I want to take a minute and celebrate engineers. Now, I like engineers. I like people that develop the, the knack of understanding how things work and have this lifelong passion for problem solving and creativity. To be an engineer is a lot like being various flavors of artists. It requires a creative mind and, and a desire to make things. That's what we do. And somewhere, there's an engineer who works for Kia. And I'd like to take in a minute and applaud this individual. Because a lot of times, like a young person will say, I want to grow up and be an architect. I want to design beautiful cathedrals and million dollar houses. And what they don't realize is, at least in the beginning of their career, and for a lot of architects, their entire career, you're going to be designing strip malls and, and boring shit like that. Well, somewhere, there's a young engineer and it's a young engineer because an old engineer wouldn't do this. I hope. At a Kia facility, who looked at the way that we've designed automotive headlights for fucking generations. It's pretty much always been the same. And any automotive headlight can pretty much be changed with no tools. Just you reach back there and pop it off and and there's different ways. There's there's a little springy thing and there's a twisty things and, and some just plug in. But typically you don't require a tool. But you, you sir, you looked at how they've done it for generations and you said, hell no, I've got a better way. I've got, I'm going to show off just what I can do. And in a vehicle with a fucking cubic meter of space under the hood and plenty of room back here. Tons of room, okay? That's bigger than my first apartment. You found a way to put a fucking headlight housing crammed so far off in the corner that it requires a socket wrench, which is a 10 millimeter, which is of course the first one you lose, and the removal of three different bolts and the entire fucking headlight housing in order to change a light bulb. So you, you sir, are amazing. Most engineers wouldn't think to do something like that, but you did. You were brave. You were bold. You took a chance. You went out and said, God damn it, how can I over-engineer the living shit out of this? You rose up and met that challenge. So I salute you, sir. And I would like to personally salute you. Please contact me so that you can make arrangements to meet with me pretty much anywhere you like because I'd like to salute you with a boot to your dick, you fuckwit. Thank you.